Hey everyone! It's so good to be back. I feel like I haven't sat down and talked to the camera in so long. It's been quite a while since I have seen you, updated you. I've had a very long, wonderful vacation away from cruise ships, and in this video, I'm going to tell you all about what I've been up to, and of course, I'm gonna announce my next big adventure. So I last left you in Italy, I believe, right after my contract finished. I did a road trip with my boyfriend who lives there and it was so amazing. And I believe also when I was on the ship, I was talking about how I wanted a big break from cruise ships how they offered me another contract, but I wasn't really sure if I wanted to take it or not. I decided not to take it just because it was way too soon after the world cruise. The world cruise is a lot. It's very busy with all of the travel. It was one of the longer contracts that I've done and I challenged myself to vlog everything of the world cruise, which I'm really glad I did actually, but it was a lot of work and I was very burnt out at the end of that contract. Looking back on it, I'm obviously so glad that I did it because now I have all these amazing vlogs for myself to watch back on and have those memories. And hopefully if you've been following along my journey, you've enjoyed them as well. But yeah, it just, it was a lot. So let me just tell you what I've been up to the last six months. Currently right now, it is March 28th. I left my contract June 12th of last year so it's been a long time and a lot has happened so let's dive into it so i enjoyed the rest of my summer at home and i was teaching lots of dance classes at my local dance studio and i started to audition for film and tv jobs online and i also sold my van which made me so sad it was so hard to decide that that was like one of the first youtube videos i posted was me getting my first van and tearing everything out of it and starting to renovate it. So it made me really sad to sell it, but I just feel like at this time in my life, I'm loving cruise ships, I'm loving traveling, and I just, I don't see myself spending a lot of time here at home in Ontario to really put in the work in the van, spend the money on the van, and then use the van. It's still something that I would absolutely love to do, and I've loved the challenge of working on it and getting creative with how to renovate it and such, but at this time in my life, it just isn't something that I'm prioritizing, so yeah, unfortunately I sold it, which made me so sad, but I don't know, also like lifted a weight off my shoulders, because every time I would come home in between a contract, I would see it in my backyard, and just be reminded like, oh shoot, I still have to do that. <laughs> then I decided to move to Toronto for a month. So I live outside the city in a smaller town where there's not a whole lot happening for the theater industry. So I decided that I wanted to move to Toronto with my friends and I wanted to be taking the classes and training and auditioning and just being in a place where more things in my industry are happening. And it was such a great month. I really loved my time there. It was really special for me too because it's really hard when you work on ships to be able to spend time with your friends and family. Of course you make so many friends when you're on the ship, but all of those friends you make are from all around the world. So it's really hard to have time with them once you leave the contract. And when you're on the contract, you can't spend time with your friends that are home, obviously. So it was really special to be able to spend that quality time with my good friends in Toronto. Then I actually went to Italy again to visit my boyfriend because we are in a long distance relationship and I am unemployed other than my dance teaching and stuff. But I have the time to travel to see him. He is now working a full-time job in Milan so he doesn't have as much free time to travel. So I went to see him in Italy, which I love doing. Yeah, we had a really nice time together. We did lots of cute little adventures. We visited a new country. We did some sledding up in this cute little winter town in the north of Italy, which was so magical. And yeah, I've never been in Italy in the month of November slash December. So that was really cool to see. Italy in the winter time and with all the Christmas decorations and then I came home and I had Christmas at home for the first time in like three years which was so nice yeah it's really hard to have Christmas on a ship because you're there for the guests so you're kind of enjoying Christmas but not really because 
you're decorating the ship, you're putting on shows for them, you're trying to make their holiday special. So it was really nice to just be home and be able to relax and enjoy time with my family. So that was wonderful. And then probably the most exciting thing that happened to me during my vacation was that I got to work for Disney Cruise Line. I still like, I'm so excited that it happened. It was a very quick job. It was a one week workshop for one of their newest ships, the Disney Treasure. So when I was in Toronto that first month, I did the audition for this job. And then I got to go back to Toronto for a week to do the workshop and it was so magical. Oh my gosh, I had such a great time. I made so many cool friends. I had such a great time with the directors and the creatives and just being in the room where everything was happening was so special and so cool to be a part of. I'm so proud and happy that I got to do that. I did vlog a teeny tiny bit when I was there, so let's head over to Disney. Hey vlog. It's been a while. I can't even believe I'm saying this, but I am currently in the Disney Cruise Line studio. I'm literally like pinching myself every day. I am here for one week and we are doing a workshop, a staging workshop for their newest show, Disney The Tale of Moana, which is gonna be on their brand new ship, the Disney Treasure. And I just feel so honored to be here and to be working on such a cool project bringing one of my favorite movies to life. I am obsessed with this movie. I literally cry seeing how far I'll go. I think it's so beautiful. I love this story so much. And I love the Pacific Islands. I've traveled there many times with my cruise ship. So I just feel so excited to be here. I am here as a singer dancer in the ensemble, helping them create this show and bring it to life. I am not allowed to disclose any information. It's super secretive because it's a brand new show but all I can say is I'm just like so, so, so excited. And I'm working with some incredible people, lots of friends from Toronto that I went to school with and lots of big Broadway choreographers and directors, which is so incredible that I have this opportunity to work with them. And working for Disney has always been such a huge dream of mine. So hopefully this is like my little foot in the door to maybe get an actual contract on the ship. That's the dream. We'll see, we'll see. But yeah, it's only a week workshop, so it's already halfway through. It's going by really fast, but it's just the best time. Literally every day I walk into this building, I'm just pinching myself. <sighs> Yay. That's all, I just wanted to update you because it's been a while. But anyways, I'm gonna get warming up and we have our third day of rehearsal today. Yeah, that was like the best week ever. <laughs> Then I went back to Italy again, but this time my entire family joined me. So my parents and my two brothers and my sister, we did an amazing family trip to Italy. Oh my gosh, it was so special. We went to Rome and we went to Florence and then we went to my boyfriend's hometown and both of our families got to meet, which was so special. That was probably my favorite day. And we did a really cool Vespa trip around Lake Como because that's my favorite way to visit the lake. And then we went to the seaside too, to the Cinque Terre. And yeah, it was just so amazing. It was my siblings' first time being in Europe. They loved it. And it was just really cool for me to be able to show them my favorite country in the world and to have a taste of the tourist life, but then also to be in his hometown and kind of get to do what him and his family do day to day was really cool as well. So that was a really special time. Yeah, I guess all of that just leads me to say that I remember being on the ship and being really conflicted and stressed about my decision to not take my next contract. And I always like to talk about how the unknown can be really exciting and you never know why things happen the way they do. And I'm just really grateful that I followed my gut in deciding not to go back right away because now there was the space for all of these amazing things to happen for me. Being able to go to Italy so much and spend that quality time with Andrea and then bringing my family there and getting to work for Disney, like that would have never happened if I just hopped right on the next cruise ship. But yeah, I'm just happy that I followed my gut and that I had some really amazing memories on this very long vacation, which leads me to the last part of this 
video, which is my announcement for my next contract. I am so excited to finally announce that I will be heading back out to sea on the Norwegian Star. I'm so excited about this contract. I will get to travel to a brand new area of the world, Northern Europe, which is the one area that I haven't sailed to yet, even after the world cruise. I am so pumped to be up there with Norway and Iceland and Greenland and Ireland and all the gorgeousness that Northern Europe has. I am just so excited. It also has one of my dream shows since I've started working for this company called Parody, which is lots of showgirl stuff. It's very music theater vibes, Moulin Rouge. I am just so excited to live my showgirl dreams and I can't wait to take all of you along with me. I really hope that you will subscribe if you haven't already and follow along on my next cruise ship journey because I'm gonna try and capture a lot of it to share with you and hopefully inspire you. And yeah, I just, I'm super grateful. I'm very ready to get back out to sea. <laughs> and I know that my videos in the past have been very travel heavy, which makes sense because I was on the world cruise, so I wasn't even really performing that much. It was all travel, 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 which I hope has been insightful or enjoyable for you. I know as a performer, Especially when you first start out, it's hard to know what you can do when you're traveling in port, especially when you work on a ship because of the time restraints and being in a new place every day. So hopefully if you are a performer on ships and you're watching these, you can look back at my videos. And if you know you're gonna go to, let's say Hong Kong, you can watch my video and see what kind of things you can get up to. I try to plan adventurous things for me and my cast to do. So if that's something you're interested in, I've got lots of videos traveling all around the world for you to watch. But for these next vlogs on my new contract, I'm hoping to get a bit more into the performing side of things. And since I will be performing more often, <laughs> I will be able to share that with you a lot more. So I'm very excited for the next seven, eight months to come. And I really appreciate all of you, everyone who has been following me, who's been sending me kind messages. I really love this YouTube community and I hope that we can keep connecting and sharing our journeys together. And yeah, I am in the process currently of packing for my contract. I leave in like three days, which I don't think has hit me yet. Um, yeah, so I guess the next time I'll see you, I will be flying to Tampa. Oh my gosh, why am I getting teary-eyed? I'm so excited to go back. Yes, okay. I guess I'll see you in Tampa. This is crazy. I think it's literally hitting me now that I'm going back to work. Ah, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna stop crying now. See you in the next video.